Alright guys, this is the last day of the Affiliate Summit and I'm here with my friend, mentor, yes. Nick Halley. We are in the Paris Casino. We are in the Paris Casino. He's leaving in just a few minutes. On a jet plane. On a jet, of course. <laughs> and Nick, Nick is, is the one person that I go to whenever I have questions about investing, about finance. And one of the things that we have been talking about a lot lately, and not just ourselves, everybody, yeah. is the whole crypto bubble, crypto, crypto universe. So and it's become critical mass now. That's right. Like with any type of movement there's talk about. See, here's the crazy thing, and I, and I share this story quite often. I first got into the scene, it would have been um, the latter part of 2012. And back then it was very fringe. Nobody knew about it. If I, if I was talking about it, you'd feel like I've just joined a, um, a religious cult. Yep. And we were talking about it earlier this year. And it's amazing how in September, the month of September, it just hit critical mass. All of a sudden, like your news feed in social media on Facebook, everybody's crypto, crypto, crypto. Yes. And then you had all these individuals who will buy one fraction of a fraction of the Bitcoin, and then overnight, the social media gurus <laughs> on, yes. on cryptocurrency. And they've got courses, and they tell you what to buy, and they start showing off, hey, I made 100% in the last five weeks. But um, right now, just so everybody understands, where Bitcoin is, for example, and look, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, alternative coins. Bitcoin is where the web and the internet was in 1996. So we don't know whether Bitcoin is going to be like a Google or it's going to fade out like AOL or MySpace, for example. Yep. Is it going to be a Facebook or is it going to be a MySpace or Friendster? So we just don't know because the three top ones right now is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Ripple. Now Ripple is the Trojan horse. This is very careful again. Wall Street was very late to the party. They missed the boat. Yes. And they really pissed off. Yes. The regulatory bodies, the, the SEC, they're all pissed off. Right? So Ripple now is the only crypto which is centralized. In other words, they're working with all the banks. So now that's what I call the Trojan horse. And now Ripple has the second largest market cap after Bitcoin. It means that if Coinbase accepts the trading of Ripple on the exchange, potentially Ripple can take out Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has this on its advantage. It's got first mover advantage. If you want to buy Ethereum or any other coins, you have to buy Bitcoin first. That's right. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the American dollar, right? If you want to buy gold, you buy American dollars, you buy gold. If you want to buy oil, you buy American dollars. And then you buy the rest. So it's always under people the American economy, the American dollar. The same thing with Bitcoin. It's under people because people have to pay and buy Bitcoin to secure the alternative coins. Yes. So the coins that I like, about 70% are Bitcoin. I would say always have an even amount of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Because right now, there is a civil war between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I was in St. Kitts uh, with Roger Ver on Bitcoin Cash. We were having lunch together at the bar. And he's back in Bitcoin Cash. And he is trying to destroy Bitcoin Core, otherwise known as Bitcoin. There's a battle between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Enable and Bitcoin Cash, transaction fees are really, really cheap. Cheaper than Bitcoin. The speed of implementation in the transaction is far more, it's faster than Bitcoin. For an e-commerce consumer type product, I think um, Bitcoin Cash has a lot has a lot going for it. And Bitcoin Cash wants to take out Bitcoin. Guys, I still don't understand where Bitcoin Cash came from. And it was a fork. Yeah. So basically, um, Roger owns 300,000 Bitcoin. Now he's a billionaire. He owns 300,000 Bitcoin. There was a fork of disgruntled programmers and inventors within the Bitcoin ecosystem. They believe the purity of Bitcoin has been skewed somewhat. So they wanted to create the perfect Bitcoin. And then Bitcoin forked, the miners forked, and then you got Bitcoin cash. So anybody who was holding one Bitcoin will get one Bitcoin cash. If you're holding 300,000 Bitcoin, you now get 300,000 Bitcoin cash. So he created another coin and got the equivalent in coins. Now here's a battle, right? I tell everybody right now, if you own three Bitcoin, make sure you have three Bitcoin cash. Where do you buy the Bitcoin cash? You can buy it on Coinbase right now, you can buy it on blockchain.info, um, you can buy it on Bitrix right now. Bitcoin Cash is about $2,800 right now. It's going to give Bitcoin, they're going to fight it out this year. But there's a lot of things happening right now in the whole scene. Things, things are going to rapidly shift this year. There's going to be a lot of things. Amazon 
more than likely is going to allow the trading of Bitcoin to purchase price. Here's what I personally believe. Now, this is just my opinion, a disclaimer. Facebook is going to release a Facebook token. They've got 1.6 billion people on Facebook. If they release their own token that's linked to a product as in advertising, so you buy tokens as a coin, and they can use to basically fund your advertising campaigns, for example. If you have 1.6 billion people and you just capture 10 percent of the market, that means 160 million individuals when you buy the Facebook coin. Yes. Bitcoin, there's probably less than 10 million individuals in the world that own a fraction of or some Bitcoin. Imagine 160 million. That makes sense. And Facebook yeah. is now becoming it's going to become a very centralized network over here. Unless Mark Zuckerberg says, you know what? To hell with it, fuck it. Let's decentralize and disrupt the playing field. And then use your coin as a rise of appreciation. Then you can use that to basically fund your what? Your advertising. I think that's very likely. So this is this is an idea you have. You, you haven't heard any comments or any... I, I believe, I think Zuckerberg is definitely going to make a move on that. It would make uh, sense, I think. Because, and I'll tell you why. Because when your, when your main product is advertising, and you're doing five, six billion dollars a year, why would you not create an advertising token? You've got a 1.6 billion individuals that you can market to. Of those, of adults, you can even capture 10% or even 5%. That's 80, 80 million individuals. So I reckon this year, Amazon, that being the case, expect a 15, 20% bounce in the price of Bitcoin. Um, I believe a lot more marketers are going to start accepting Bitcoin. And the reason being is no chargebacks. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. And if you're, if you're running like a, a recurring membership subscription class, no chargebacks, right? But it just means that you're now marketed to a, a very niche part of it because not everybody has Bitcoin and has enough Bitcoin to basically, whether it's um, you know, $100 like recurring monthly or whatever kind of thing, you know. But you're going to find a lot of marketers will now utilize the blockchain and utilize that in their, their merchants. But, um, you still use it. So, where is this going? And you know, somebody still hasn't jumped into the bandwagon. What do you recommend to them? Um, I tell everybody, 70% of what I do is Bitcoin mining. Invest in the golden goose, allows the golden eggs. Because if you just buy one Bitcoin, if you save all your pennies and you buy one Bitcoin, congratulations. In five years, you'll still got one Bitcoin. One difference is the price. If you invest in a mining asset or mining hardware, like I have, like you have, that's a goose that's going to continue laying golden eggs each and every day. It's like buying an investment property. You don't really care if the valuation is up or down. Can you still rent it out? Yes. It's what? It's income. When you have mining hardware, you're generating what? Income. Yeah. If you're buying Bitcoin, well, you know what? Price can go up, down or sideways. If the price goes down, we're still Bitcoin mining. We're making money. If the price just stabilizes and consolidates, we're still making money. And if it goes up, buying. Everything that you basically mine also goes up in value. So solidify your foundation. Work on your foundation. Then on top of that, use your Bitcoin that you've mined to now buy and invest in some of the alternative coins. Whether it's like Tron or Cardano or Ethereum or Ripple or Monero or Dash. Those are the ones you recommend from the alternative ones. Yes. There are hundreds. And I'll tell you something right now, a bit of a tip here. The Russians are fearful of one particular coin. <laughs> it's called Monero. Why? Because it's encrypted. It's ridiculously encrypted and they can't crack the Code. This is a lot about what? The thing about 2018 is going to be about what? Privacy. In a, in a decentralized arena, for example, you're going to be in search of what? Privacy. The coins that you have. Anonymity. Because that has intrinsic value, especially today. Your anonymity, as opposed to basically, you know, broadcasting stuff to the world. You want, you want your investments to be anonymous. Anonymity, whether it's uh, tax implications or whether it's just privacy, because you don't want to basically detail the rest of the world where you're you currently investing. But um, I'm also, I'm looking at those type of coins that give that degree of privacy. Monero. M-O-N-E-R-O. Yeah. Check it out. So that's 2018. That's fun. Things are going to change. We've got the Bitcoin, Bitcoin cash battle. We've got the Ripple, which is the Trojan horse, which is centralized. And all the real purists in the crypto scene despise Ripple. Because we will solve the cryptocurrency was a decentralized market. But if they're working hand in hand with the banks, the banks are going to use Ripple to underpin their growth and to basically to potentially knock off Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash on the throne. So there's a battle out there. It's happening every day. And this scene is rapidly changing each and every day. We've got to go all in. If you're going to start, lay your foundation, sink a limb up, get started with mining. Mining, yes. 
mining hardware, invest in a golden goose that lays the golden eggs. That goose is the best mechanical slave 24-7. It doesn't get paid by the hour. It doesn't take breaks, doesn't need vacations. It doesn't join a union. <laughs> It'll just work its ass off 24 7. 24 7, 365 days a year. So that's what you're currently invested in, and that's what I'm actually invested in too. So, yeah. That's right. That's so, yeah. so, below this video, there's going to be more information for you if you're ready to get into the mining industry. You're yeah. ready to get there. And then the next level is investing in the alternative coins. And then invest. But lay your foundation, solidify your foundations, and then erect a skyscraper. Excellent. Done. Alright, thank you so much. Thank Nick. you. That Cheers, was guys. incredibly valuable. Thank you for watching and check the information below. Click the button below to learn a little bit more about this and get involved. See you soon.